All right, y'all. So before I even start this video, first of all, I gotta say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going, going energy, energy going within and being high vibrational. Um, I got a lot of information to share with y'all today uh, here on um, in this video. So of course, as you guys know, <clears throat> I haven't been posting. Um, I haven't been posting for the past couple of days. Um, and this is actually on purpose. It's not that it's a tough part of my life or anything like that. I'm not even worried about, you know, life struggles. It happens. It's always going to be some type of, uh, level of ups and downs. You feel me? Like any time in life, you feel me? So with that being said, I decided to go on a fast. And of course, you know, it's obviously it's associated with water, of course. I told y'all, man, y'all going to start trolling me in the comment section if y'all see me drink my water. All right. Did you drink your water today, face ass? Okay. It's number one, man. And not only just with water, um, as far as uh, cause I'm cause I've been doing a water fast. I've been doing like inter intermediate, intermediate fasting. That word's that I, that word always kicks my ass. But y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. Um, and I also been um and then uh, on top of that too, like I'm learning how to will my way past you know uh thirteen fourteen hours of just like no eating like no type of food at all you know. I noticed a lot about myself. I noticed a couple, a couple things, a couple of habits that I have, and that's what you'll notice, bro. Whenever you are like um, going through a time where you are cutting back on anything, you're gonna notice some habits about yourself, bro. You're gonna notice like, damn, I do this. I, I reach for my phone quite often. Like, I did a fast for my phone. You know, um, just not having it. Um, not using it type shit and and really it put me in a state where and then I'm gonna just keep it one hundred, bro. I'm gonna keep it one thousand, you feel me? Um it put me in a state where I was uh I didn't feel anything. You know what I'm saying? Like I was just present. Like I was just here. Now this wasn't nothing like where I'm like, oh, okay, I'm not feeling anything, why live, blah, blah, blah. It's nothing like that. You know, I think it was more of me looking, I'm not even looking, just me more so just experiencing, like me just uh, going from one experience to the next experience and then like making the most of it, you know. Um, I've been really tested too, you know, going on a water fast. And then also I've been going on a speaking fast. Now with all this, with all that being said, bro, here on this channel, I talk a lot about, you know, semen retention, you know, holding on to your life force energy. Um, to say the least, I'm going to keep it 100. Um, you guys here on this channel, uh, like MGT, I know this is really a judge free zone. But of course, you're going to have the trolls and you're going to have the naysayers or you're going to have the people to be like, oh, such and such. You you're not really practicing it, blah, blah, blah. There's always going to be somebody that has something to say, no matter what. I do, whether I'm at on day a thousand or whether I'm restarting my streak. So, um, with that being said, I have, I have connected like over, not the past couple of days, I want to say like last week, you know, I connected with a very, uh, I want to say a very special individual at this moment in time. I mean, shit, hopefully that shit, you know, hopefully it carries on, but, um, yeah, I'm basically restarting my streak. Um and I I I learned so much from going so long without having sex to actually experiencing it and like I just learned so much about myself, you feel me, about just where I'm at as far as my libido level, you know, my energy level, my goddamn um my health. It's a great way, and I, I think I said this in one of my videos, um, a couple videos back, like, <clears throat> everybody, everybody knows, like, at some point in time, like, when they're gonna, like, be serious about making a decision in life, 
you know, at some point in time, we get past the recreational phase of like, you know, doing whatever, whether it's eating a lot or, you know, having a lot of sex or sleeping too much. You feel me? That me personally, if you eat, sleep, have sex more than you're supposed to, then that's considered to just be rec recreational because now you're not really you don't really need to do it that much. So when you get at a, a point where you become mature and you're like, all right, I'm really out here, um, you know, wanting to not only procreate, but create a better future for not only for my seed, but for the rest of the world. Of course, you're going to be courting. You're going to be meeting women. Um, there's been a couple of guys I know they asked me in the past, you know, a couple of years ago, you know, when I first got on this, uh, when I got on this journey, guys will ask me like, Oh, well, I've been holding my seat for this long and I met this girl. I'm wondering if I should release with her or, you know, it's just the one X, Y, Z. Listen, if you're young, you have to know like what level you're at when it comes to you performing, like you having sex and shit like that. And sex is more, it's, it's more of a, a whole type of like, I want to call it like an, a whole experience versus actually oh, I'm, I'm getting the pussy and I get into the pussy and that's that. Like, everything is connected, man. Everything that you do in life is connected, bro. Even down to how you eat. The, like, put, put it like this, bro. How you eat determines how you're going to perform when you are meeting a woman. Literally. I'm not even lying to you, bro. Like, how you eat and how you manage your body. Like, if you do too much of something... um especially if it's not natural, you're actually wasting <clears throat> the opportunity to have a real natural uh, experience with a woman. You you know, like, and even some women, a lot of women, they complain about guys. They'd be like, oh, uh, he can't make me come. He can't make me do this and do that. Well, yeah, a lot of guys can't make you come and do this and do that because your ass be playing with a whole bunch of toys. You know, you be overstimulating yourself. You know, there's a lot of women who, you know, Again, I'm not I'm not bashing anybody who uses toys or anything. Do what you need to do to get off. You feel me? If you talk about a woman, women are a lot more. They're more sexual being. They're they're way more sexual than than guys. They don't show it outwardly, unless of course you got the pride, the the proud, uh, you know, thoughts of the world and the sluts of the world and shit like that. Hey, everybody has a purpose. But generally speaking, a decent woman. She's not going to externalize how sexual she is because there's a lot of guys that live in their lower nature that don't know how to control themselves. And then they fucking get thirsty. And now they th these guys become creeps and these women, they become victims for real. Some women be playing the victim. Don't get me wrong. But majority of the time, women are victimized because a lot of men don't know how to control their, their lower nature. They don't know how to control the sexual energy and they're in their ego. And not only if not only are they in their ego, but they are narcissistic. Okay? So this is why it's very important. Like if you talk about a guy who who's a narcissist, how does he even get how does he even get to that point, bro? Like, you feel me? And I'm not trying to make it about that in, in particular, but I'm just talking about just in general, you know, the the whole energy management type of thing. You feel me? Um it has a lot to do with how he was raised, how he was spoken to as a kid, you know, everything is connected. All right. Everything is connected, dog. What does that mean, bro? How he was raised, basically, between his parents or whatnot, even it, whether they're together or not, bro, that's effective on him, on his psyche. You know, he's not getting enough, uh, enough love. He's he's talking to a dad who really doesn't care, who really doesn't like his mom everything trickles down to the next generation. This is why it's so important. If you want to change the world, you got to first work on yourself. You got to work on some of your traumas. Some of the traumas that you may have, it may not even be basically uh, necessarily your fault, but it's your duty to, you know, manage yourself and manage your emotions, bro. You know, realize that, okay, I have certain traumas. I can't externalize this. Why am I being manipulative? By telling somebody how they feel, trying to make them 
question their common sense. A lot of guys do this. Women do this too. Uh, women do this too. And again, it's all about having an emotional balance and dealing with uh, the traumas. You feel me? So I say all that to say, you know, uh, depending on what type of individual you are, bro, like you have to, you have to realize that every day you have to work on yourself. Every day you have to get better. Every day you have to tell yourself that you love yourself. You feel me? That's the best, that's the best way to start. Start with, you know, if you want to, uh, cause again, like right now, even though I restarted my streak this time around, when I'm starting a new streak, now I'm associating cutting out a lot of the foods that affect me emotionally. You know, there's a lot of, so for example, and then not only just the cutting out the food, but the time of day that you eat is very important. Um, you remember how I say, how I'm repeating in this video that everything is connected, right? When you talk about our sar circadian rhythm, which is basically what with what governs, you know, when we get hungry, when we get sleepy, when we got to take a shit, when we got to take a piss, shit like that, right? You talk about that. That's literally our circadian rhythm is actually being governed by sunlight. What does that mean? The best time to eat is during the day is when the sun is up because by the time the sun goes down at a certain time, I want to say after six, seven o'clock, like we actually have to get ready to go to sleep type shit. Now, of course, that's not like that's not going to happen in today's day and age. There's a lot of shit that happens after six, seven, eight o'clock. Right. And this is why a lot of people, they become emotionally unstable because there's so many things affecting them internally and in food which we use to, you know, comfort ourselves. I mean, yeah, we, we're hungry, but we do it for the comfort of like, okay, we about to watch this show. Let me pop in my, 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 my whatever chicken sandwich and I got my slushy and all this other bullshit. That's, you make that an experience. That's a human experience. That sometimes can slow us fucking down, bro. You feel me? Everything is connected. So, and then when you eat after seven, eight o'clock, there's a spike in glucose within your body. So whatever you digest, yeah, like it's not, it's not going to be, essentially it won't be digested how you want it to be digested. You feel me? You're going to gain weight. So if you're drinking a lot of juices, if you're eating a lot of like foods that are high in cholesterol, high in um, carbs and shit like that late night, yeah, bro, your, your weight will always fluctuate. You might gain some weight. You might feel sluggish in the morning and you might, the, the, the biggest thing how you can tell if you're really, uh, if you really have good health is, you no, know, just pay attention to how you manage yourself throughout the week. And then when you wake up in the morning, that's a good, that's a good like way to tell of, okay, like, am I actually healthy? Because if you wake up in the morning, you feel like shit. Yeah, you're not healthy. It's just that simple. This is some, some type of food, something that you have, you either ate too late or you did something before you went to sleep, whether it was drink, whether it was smoke. And now you talk about <laughs> you talk about how you feel. You're literally going to have and this happens to me. OK, so I'm not just saying, you know, this is how you can tell, though. You feel me? There's been times where I woke up and like my dopamine was at was was at a very low base. When your dopamine is low, like when you talk about dopamine, what's dopamine? That's basically, that's the um, the substance within the brain that's associated with, you know, good feelings, you know what I'm saying, or happy times. This is why, again, we eat a lot. We have sex a lot. You know, even porn. Porn, that's what it is. You're getting a dopamine high. So what happens is because... You wake up in the morning, boom, you feel your, your your dopamine base is like down here type shit. The subconscious mind tells the conscious mind that, hey, we feel like shit. The last time we was peaking was when we did this activity, which is when we ate this food, once uh, where, where, whether we drank this drink, smoked this joint or whatever. So what's going to happen is you consciously are going to go back to do the same thing. <clears throat> to try to get that peak. So by the time you do it again, you take that hit 
or you're you have sex or you're watching porn or whatnot, now you're getting that dopamine high again. Now you're peaking. Now what's gonna happen is over time your your dopamine base gets lower and lower. Meaning you would have to do more of whatever it is that she was doing just to get your base back up. Now this is like this is how like people fall into deep depression. When your base is like really, really low. As far as your dopamine base, it's really low. That's when you're very depressed. That's when you feel some type of way. That's when you feel like you're hopeless. The world is, you know what I'm saying? So we have to be able to regulate, you know, how we choose to, you know what I'm saying? Like release our dopamine, bro. We can do it. It's possible. You know, it takes a lot of, like, put it like this, bro. If you make up something in your mind, the body literally will follow like if you're made up in your mind then the, your body will follow trust and believe like your body has to follow your mind it has to follow your heart type shit you know what i'm saying so if you make it so you have to make a decision a mental decision first okay this is what i'm going to do i understand that my dopamine base is here or okay i've been going too hard as far as watching too much videos playing too much video games okay like, even if you're a guy that never, that knew nothing about semen retention, and you're trying it for the first time and you're like, man, okay, this shit is crazy. Like, you're going to feel some type of way, bro, in the beginning when you feel like when you are in the mood, like, damn, like you have that urge to just get one off. You don't even want to fuck with a bitch. Mind you, you're really messing up the circuits within your brain uh, to, to like, basically when you, the more you watch porn is the more when you do have an experience with a woman, you're not going to be able to perform like how you should at optimal level. You feel me? A lot of guys, they be in the bedroom and, and these this is the reason why a lot of women complain. You know, guys, they, they don't have a lot of energy. They get so excited by seeing titties in their face in real life. They're like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm going to bust. Oh my God, face ass. Like, bro, you act like you never seen titty before. You know what I'm saying? But you've been watching it on, on porn sites and shit, so you feel like you think you got it. But nah, really, you're distorting your reality. You're throwing away your reality for a reality that a reality that only exists within the mind. You're literally mind fucking yourself, bro. Dead ass serious. You feel me? So, and then you're creating a point where you get angry because <clears throat> I guarantee you, you watch whatever you watch. You're going to be in the mood like, damn, man, this bitch really throwing it back. Damn, these bitches is really going, you know, they going crazy. Whatever the fuck you watch. I don't know what type of, what type of like, boring y'all niggas be watching. You feel me? But whatever the case is, as soon as you bust and you come to the realization, like, you going to get mad as fuck. Like, damn, why am I not there? Or why am I not making this? Why is this not happening? Like, fuck, man, I need to watch another video for that swipe. You know what I'm saying? Let me see what else. You feel me? Now you're just digging yourself a hole. By the time you're done, you start, you're searching for a dopamine high or a hit. By the time you can't get that no more, bro, now anxiety starts to kick in. Depression starts to kick in. You feel me? You start doing associate. You start eating more. Start finding sweets and shit like that. Trust me, I've been through it, bro. And this shit sucks. You feel me? This is why I say, if you know better, you're actually going to do better. Because <clears throat> once you understand that cycle that happens... It may not happen to you, but it happens to a lot of people. Trust me. But once you understand that cycle that happens, you become more and more conscious as to why you don't have to repeat that action again. This is why you have to use your creative energy when you don't have sex and when you don't bust. You feel me? And then once you start to eat right, this is very important. Everything goes hand in hand. Now you become emotionally intelligent because... You're not eating foods at certain times that's going to govern how you feel. You know what I'm saying? Because foods literally will change, literally will change everything within your body. And you will, now you're becoming a slave to how your body feels because of the pizza, the chicken. You're, you're putting pressure on your di digestive system to break down this food. You're already starting to add stress to your body in a world that's stressful enough. You see what I'm saying? So... This is why it's important to just, you know, in totality, just understand the human body, understand like what is actually happening when you're doing your vices or when you're, I'm not saying you can't eat. I'm not saying you can't have fun. 
I'm not saying you can't have sex. I'm not saying you can't do none of that shit. You feel me? Part of being a human being is to have these experiences to, 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 to create memories. You know what I'm saying? So when you can do this, um, you want to be able to do it at a level where other areas of your, of your life aren't being affected too much by, you know, too much work or too much time on the phone with your girl or too much time doing this or too much time doing that or too much time, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Because if you do too much of something, a lot of the times there becomes an imbalance in the rest of your life. And this is what it's all about. You got to keep a balance, man, you know? Um, but as far as uh, if you want to reset, if there's some things that you uh, want to start taking, like, for example, this is like in arm's reach right now, um, oregano. I don't usually take these cap, like, you know what I'm saying, in pill form or whatnot. I usually have them in, um, like, I put them like I... Like like herbs and shit like that. I put it on like on my pizzas if I'm making like a vegan pizza or something like that, or a salad. Um, oregano is good for you if you are retaining your energy. Um, eating celery is good. Eating pineapples. Um, what else? Kale. I always talk about kale. Um, the thing about it is that those specific things that I just mentioned it literally uh, affects like your actual, you know what I'm saying, semen type shit in a way where um, you will produce a healthy baby if you choose to, you know, do uh, pursue that. And then when you're dealing with a woman and everything like that, she she's going to enjoy everything. Trust and believe. You see what I'm saying? There's just certain things that you need to take while you are retaining your energy because sometimes too, this is why everything is a balance. You have to Make sure you're a little bit active as well. Even if you drink water and you and you lessen the amount of food that you eat, you can still burn calories or I would say lose calories by just drinking water. If you replace all of your beverages, let's say you don't want to quit your diet. But if you replace all your beverages with water, I'm telling you right now, it's going to make a huge difference. But within the first couple of days, you, you will literally feel a difference. And what's going to happen is your mind is going to start working a way more clearer. You're going to be able to retain a lot more information. Um, your memory is going to be on point and you will be open to do. Do more shadow work and just do more research to better your life. You feel me to better yourself just in general. Um, everything goes hand in hand. Everything is connected. Um, there's a book that. I got like a minute ago uh, and, you know, I'm going to get back into that. It's it's let me see. I think I showed it to y'all one time. I showed it to y'all before. So, yeah, seminal retention and what the hell does it say? Oh, higher consciousness, the sexology of the Kundalini. Um, when I first got this book, bro, um, I started to read it a little bit, but then I got a little discouraged cause I ain't gonna hold you, bro. This is a book for like, if you got like a, a actual woman that you with type shit or a partner or whatnot. And at the time I ain't had one so I was, I was salty as hell. I'm like, man, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? But guess what though? If you can like, for me, I ain't gonna lie <clears throat> when it comes to books and shit like that. I got to be able to read the book and then apply it in my life like immediately. You feel me? So if I'm reading some shit and I'm and they talking about, oh, take your woman and do this. Like, I'm going to feel some type of way. Like, nigga, I ain't got no, I ain't got no girl. You feel me? But um, not to say that, like, I have one now. I kind I, I kind of do have one now, but I don't want to, like, you feel me, jinx it or whatnot. But, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to get into that. And it's just, dog, it's just a lot of information that I uh, want to share with y'all that I've done. I've done research in the past couple of days. Um, I think I'll, I think I already mentioned this in the beginning of the video. I never, uh, I, um, I haven't gone a couple of days without making a video, bro. And one thing also I want to say too, the main reason why, another reason why I haven't been making videos 
the past couple of days is because I've also been going on a speaking fast. Yes, I said it, a speaking fast. You're like, what the hell is that? I'm like, I'm glad you asked. It sounds like what it is. Like you just don't speak, you know, uh, when you're out in public type shit, basically only speak when necessary. I mean, that's how you should always carry yourself. But you would be surprised at how much you can learn when you really listen, when you really there's so there's a lot of life and death is in the power of the tongue. You feel me? So there's a lot of things that people be saying. They be killing their opportunities. They be messing up all kind of shit just because you talking too much. You feel me? Or or you letting your ego get in the way. So like you're, you you speak from your ego. I decided to constantly go on a speaking fast, and it just feels powerful, man. It feels very powerful because number one, ain't nobody can really tell you tell what's going on in your mind. Number one, like people be like, um, cause so so imagine I was on a speaking fast, and I was on a water fast, so I wasn't eating no like hard foods or anything like that. So even when I went to work, I'm pro I'm probably sure like you know, a few of my coworkers. I know one of my coworkers that I work with all the time. He probably made a, may have thought something was off, but it ain't really had nothing to do with him at all. Like, I was literally... I think he, he had offered me a bag of some, some bag of chips or some shit. He's always offering me food. It's so funny when you decide to, like, fast or, you know, stop doing certain shit. That's when people want to just... It, I don't know if it's like a magnet or whatnot, but people are just... want They just want to offer you shit. There's just something in them. It's like you evoke something in them for them to offer you... The, the, the thing that you're trying to avoid, which is probably food, weed, you know, if you're dealing with a female pussy, you know what I'm saying? So um, it's weird, dog. It's, it's a weird dynamic. But once you really stop caring as far as like stop caring about the world's expectation and now you are in that mode where it's like, you know, this is my challenge. This is my personal thing that I'm doing. Nobody can take that away from you. That's so empowering when you can have. When you can master yourself, then that's when everybody that's when the world needs to worry. Okay, because everybody else, you you will be able to read them easily. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just I'm not gonna say that you're gonna know everybody or you're gonna know what's going on in people's head, but people will become more reactionary to you than you are to them. So yeah, so water fasting, speaking fasting, and goddamn what else? <laughs> Um, kind of, kind of was like not in my phone too much either. So, um, I ain't gonna lie. At one point in time, I did feel, I did feel zombie-ish a little bit because this is new. This is the, I was in a space where I was just like, oh shit, like I'm really in my mind and I'm really in my thoughts and I'm, I'm just really taking in everything. Um, it's kind of weird because people who are usually depressed, they don't say much. They're very quiet because they're in the mind. They're thinking about some shit that's, that has to do with the past. Usually, if you're depressed, it's because of something that already happened. You feel me? Um, even if something didn't happen yet and you're thinking about it, that just means you're anxious. You know what I'm saying? The anxiety is going up. The anxiety has to do with the future. <clears throat> Depression has to do with the past. <clears throat> so... There's a lot of things that happen internally, but like when you make up in your mind again, you make up in your mind like this is what I'm going to do. Because what was happening was during my speaking fast, we had I know we had to go to this customer's house. And then, of course, of course, I ain't going to be a, 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 a mom and not say shit. You feel me? I'm like, hey, how you doing? Da, 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 X, y, Z. But it's like the more I spoke. Um, after the fast, cause again, like, you know, you're not going to be completely silent, but it, it became the more prolific I sounded and the more confident I sounded every time I said something, you know what I'm saying? Um, and again, there's not going to be, put it like this, what you do personally, internally or whatnot, never, re don't ever really think or care about what somebody might, um, what they might say 
or how they may feel about it. Don't ever worry about that shit, bro. Um, because this is how, like, pretty much you are the best person that can actually, that knows what, what's best for you. Like, you literally are the best person to look for for advice. If you want to find some advice, not just from, you know, you know, any of one of my videos or anything like that, like literally look at yourself in the mirror, have a moment with yourself and speak to yourself, ask yourself certain questions. What do you want? How do you feel? Why are you feeling this? Find out what it is that works for you. Have that conversation, have that open dialogue for real. I'm telling you, you it'll open up a lot of doors for you. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody knows you better than you. And we can be, when you can be honest with yourself, bro, you can really conquer a lot in life. Trust and believe. Life gets a lot more manageable once you understand certain things about you, certain feelings about you, certain habits that you now can change or you're aware of. Like, okay, I have to do more of this and less of this. Once you understand what triggers you, what, once you understand like a manipulator, um, as far as like, there's going to be different things that people might try to do to manip manipulate you, to make you feel like you're less than, to make you feel like you're not good enough. See, people will always try to do that, especially if you are one to be, you know, high vibrational and retaining your energy. They don't really like that. It's just that simple. It comes down to science and at a molecular level. If you don't take care of yourself, you're not going to enjoy your life. And if you don't enjoy your life, you once you see people, other people enjoying their lives, you're going to try to take their vibration down. You feel me? This is why you have certain people who exist. This is why you never like fight fire with fire. Now, I'm not saying to, you know, turn the cheek every single time. But what I'm telling you is that if somebody, if you get somebody mad, if somebody is like, it just irate over either something that you said or something that you did, guess what? They lost. They lost. What do you, what do you mean? What, what do I mean by that? If somebody is able to get you upset and, and put you in your root chakra, bro, you're defeated for real, bro, because now they have control over, over your emotion. They have the power to make you go into your lower chakra. And now you don't even, you're just in your lower chakra. You're not understanding why this person has so much power over you in the first place. Why do you care so much? Why do you value their opinion? If somebody ever says anything disrespectful to you, bro, I said, I had like, I'm not going to lie, bro. I'm the type of person who is very conscious and very aware of things. I'm very aware of my actions and what I do. I've grown over the past couple of months. You know what I'm saying? I, I grow every single day. There is a point in time where I'm the type of person, I'm that friend that no matter what, bro, like I'm always going every now and then I'm going to reach out. You know, I'm going to be the person to be like, hey, hope everything is OK with you. Male, female, it doesn't matter. I'm like anybody. If y'all know personally, y'all y'all can ask anybody who knows me personally, the type of person I am. I'm always going to be that person. You feel me? And to 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 reach out to say, hey, hopefully everything is good with you in spite of what we went through before. If we had a, a bad time, me personally, because I'm a, I'm a thoughtful person. And if I connect with somebody, and this is why I'm so hesitant even now to even like, you know, pursue a relationship or anything like that, because anytime I have any type of relationship, uh, whether it's with a woman or, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, I have like a friendship with people. Um, those experiences help shape and mold me and be the person I am today. So even if a friend did me wrong, tried me, you know, y'all know about the green ass homeboy that I had. You know what I'm saying? If y'all really to, to the MGT OGs, y'all know what time it is. Even down to homeboy, he helped me get me. He helped get me to where I needed to be right now. I never have no ill intent towards anybody, bro. Even the female that I got caught up with that basically almost got pregnant type shit. Y'all know about that story. Basically was pregnant or not. Um, even down to her, bro, there's, there's something in my heart that can't 
allow myself to hate or hold a grudge. You feel me? Because I take every experience and I transmute it into something positive. With that being said, I was one to, you know, reach out to a certain individual not too long ago. And this individual didn't respond. And then they actually had somebody else respond um, on behalf of them. And it was very negative. It was very negative. But what I what I mentioned earlier in the video was that if somebody is still, you know, enraged with you, number one, just leave that shit alone. You know, if they, if, if, if you, that's what I'm saying, if you try to like mend the fences with somebody just because you didn't want to bend to their, you know, whatever their, uh, you know, standard was, you feel me? Because everybody has standards, you know what I'm saying? You got your standards, other people got their standards. Sometimes shit's gonna clash and it's just not gonna work. Um, yeah, I was, I basically, you know, I basically was like on some regular shit, like how I usually am, like you know, hope every, hope everything's okay with you type shit. You know, uh, I know how I made that person feel at certain times, and um, yeah, I'm growing every single day. I just want to make sure for me. That, you know, and maybe, maybe it was something, again, this is, maybe it's something within me that, you know, it was probably bothering me, bothering me about the situation. Because again, I don't like, I don't like people who I connected with looking at me in a certain light. Like, bro, we had, we had like a real connection type shit, but somewhere down the path, like, you know what I'm saying? Like this person was thinking this way, I was thinking this way. And that's, that's life. That's fucking like, you can't get mad at that. You know what I'm saying? So basically, she had somebody respond on, on her behalf and it was super negative. But I was okay. I was ha I was straight, bro. Like the person wished me, you know, to go to hell and rot in prison and all this other shit, bro. It's just saying some crazy shit, bro. I'm telling you, you'd be surprised, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? You come in peace and in love, and this is how, you feel me, after all, like, what I did and what everything, you know, this is how a person would treat you, dog, like, after the fact. So, it's crazy. This is why I'm so, this is why I'm so, like, uh, hesitant to, you know, hop into relationships like that, bro. Like, you feel me? I just be vibing, bro, because <laughs> it's like you connect with somebody, you love them, and then you grow apart, and then all of a sudden, it's fuck you. It's die slow. It's, it's you know, I hope you burn in hell and all this other shit. I ain't got time to be living on t on that type of uh, energy, on, on that type of vibration. <laughs> you feel me? I mean, I'm just going to laugh at it. I'm just going to laugh at it, transmute it, and I'm sorry if you're mad. You feel me? Like, But I'm not sorry that you're mad, you know? Because, again, that's something internally that you need to fix. If I get mad at somebody, if I that's what I'm saying. If I get mad at somebody or if I have a grudge or something like that, that ain't on them. That's on me. What the fuck I got going on? You feel me? That's what I'm saying. I don't have no beef with anybody from my past. I thank every last one of y'all. I thank every last one of y'all. I even actually had, I actually had somebody else reach out to me saying like, oh, you better stop lying on, on on YouTube. I got videos for you. I'm just like, bro, where is this energy coming from? The only thing I did was, I well, I didn't respond. Um, but in my mind, it was like, I, I want all this negative. How you even get my number, bro? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, again, how you even get my number type shit? Are you coming at me with all this negative energy saying this, that, and third? Like, really? Nobody's lying. Um, and I have no ill intent. Like, shit, the experience happened. Do I hate the person? No, I don't hate the person. The person, it is what it is. And it's an experience, bro. I don't hold on to shit like that. You feel me? I really don't. So I know for the past, you know, couple, uh, 10 minutes of this video, I've been kind of like veering off and talking about different shit. Um, but this is some real shit, though, man. Like, in, in general, again, dog, like, you have to do what you got to do every single day. There's no, there's not going to be somebody there to say, hey, uh, 
you know, you have to get up and don't worry about it. You got this. It's no, it's not always going to be somebody there for you, you know, so you have to be there for yourself. You know, you have to tell yourself, you have to start telling yourself, put all the celebrity shit to the side, put all the alien invasion, which by the way, I'm going to let y'all know with that alien shit, <laughs> um, it's just fake. It's fake, it's fake, it's fake. I don't think, and this is my opinion. This is not based on facts or anything, so that's a disclaimer right there. I don't think the aliens that they put in the media, uh, I don't think, I don't think they, that's how aliens really look, bro. I think, I think aliens look more human-like, but just a little bit taller. <laughs> to be honest, like they look more human, like a little bit taller. But the whole thing in Nevada and in, in the Hispanic people talking about like, oh, we've seen a large, it's a large being and this, that, and third, bro. That that shit could be Project Beam for real, bro. Like, the, the, listen, man, everything is all about the, 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 it's all about getting technology. It's literally all about technology, bro. There is technology that has not been exposed to the masses as of yet. That they they they've had this technology since nineteen seventy. You talk about the iPhone. When you talk about the iPhone. The iPhone literally was around in the nineteen sixties. Um, during nineteen sixties, nineteen seventies, during um whatever war that was going on, the military was using iPhones first. You feel me? So in the future, there's gonna be more technology that's going to be uh exposed ai obviously is coming out i know this is a lot of you know this usually what i'm talking about right now i usually talk about but nah i'm shit <laughs> i'm in my bag i've done a lot of research just a lot of, a lot of research as of late just you know just different information how things connect and everything um but as far as the extraterrestrials and all that shit goes and everything Put all that to the side for a second, man. Understand that you are the true. Uh, you're one of the. You're one of millions and millions of universes, right? And you're you're the only one that knows what's best for your universe. Um, make sure you're taking care of yourself. Make sure you put yourself first. Uh, make sure you encourage yourself to continue to keep going, even when life seems like it's going. It's not. Just make sure you can. Um, Stay in a positive mindset, even when you feel like your your dopamine is low, it's at a low base. Remember what's happening, you feel me? If you feel depressed, it's probably because you're thinking about something from the past or whatever activity that you usually do to you know make yourself in a good mood. You're not doing it right now, so you're depleting yourself. The way to counter that is to find new ways to achieve a quote unquote dopamine high. And the best way to do that is to challenge yourself. Um, see how long you can go without something. Cause I guarantee you, if I, I know for me, I've reached my dopamine. I got my, cause you have to have, you have to experience this bro. Like while you're living life, you have to experience, you know, the dopamine, it's, it's the chemical within your brain. So, I did a personal challenge for myself where I said, okay, I'm going to drink three bottles of water and I'm not going to eat until four o'clock today. Once I met my goal, bro, I felt amazing. I got like a high. That's why when sometimes people can stop smoking weed or they can stop drinking, they experience moments in time where they have like a, they're just high off life. That's because they, they have raised the base of their dopamine and they change the activity, what they're doing, because, you know, it takes 21 days to break a habit. Um, but it, they change the activity. Try to because, again, you're going to have to, like, do something to, you know, not really substitute, but kind of replace, replace, substitute, same thing. Um, but once you do that, you sometimes actually uh, experience a greater high doing something by yourself than when you're depending on something to get you to get to that high. You see what I'm saying? This is how you you bring your anxiety all the way down. 
You feel me? Because number one, you're in control of how you feel. You're in control of your mood. So you don't have to worry about, damn, I don't have this. I don't have this. I don't have this. I don't have this. You may, there might be a point, moment in time where you don't have all these things. This is the best time to create. This is the best time to make a video. This is the best time to write, write some, uh, write your thoughts down. This is the best time to research some type of videos that are still somewhat yet um, entertaining, but informative. I'm telling you that those things that you can do, like the best thing to do is me personally, whenever I'm feeling down, I always just do research. I always just do, I search knowledge. Knowledge is like that one thing that for me, it it's very, it's interesting. I mean, knowledge is interesting and sometimes it could be a little funny. It could be entertaining, but I can take it. I can use it and I can apply it in my life today. One of the things that I do now, there's this channel and I forgot. I actually know. Well, I ain't forget. I got my phone right here, bro. It's this channel that I go on and, um, it's pretty cool. I'm. A, I think I'm gonna leave the link in the description. Um, let me go to it real quick. It's this channel that that just uh they just read off like quotes. Like they got different Chinese quotes, different uh proverbs. I would say some like life lesson quotes. And I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's a good way to like feed the subconscious mind. Cause now you're training your mind to think positively. You know this is why I say it's very important to like put some put some food into your mental man. Uh, let me go to it real quick. I'm going to leave a link in the description, but I want to get the name of the um, the channel. I'm sorry. Give me one second, guys. All right. So it's simple. It's called Quotes. Um, the channel looks like this. You know what I'm saying? The phone battery's about to die. But yeah, it's called... Uh, yeah, so basically it's Turn your turn Knowledge into an Advantage. You feel me? Um, They have 1.0... 3 million subscribers, you feel me? So a lot of these quotes, like I'll read one for a, for an example. Um, let's see. For, for example, this one. Difficulties strengthen the mind as labor does the body. Um, it'd be like different quotes that made me think. I'd be like, hmm, okay, go on. Uh, here's another one. When you're finished changing, you're finished. Let that shit sink in, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like It'd be like... I'm going to repeat that. When you're finished changing, you're finished. What does that mean, bro? That means you should never stop changing, bro. Why would you want to stop changing? Because once you say, oh, I'm done changing. This is me. This is my final form. That's when life is, is done. That means you can't learn nothing. You don't want to learn nothing. You're closed minded. You feel me, bro? This 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 is certain things that you can do, bro. This there's a lot. We're living in a great time right now, but there's nothing but information out there, bro. Here's another one. I keep six honest serving men. Now I don't, I don't even know what I'm about to read, but we'll see. They taught me all I knew. Their names are what and why and when and how and where and who <laughs> you feel me bro like yeah i keep six honest serving men they tell me all i knew their names are what and why and when and how and uh and where and who you gotta ask these questions man you know when you ask a question you actually become on the offense instead of the defense that's just food for thought. Whenever you're in a conversation or like a back and forth, if you feel like the person is talking out their ass, just start asking questions. Here's another one. A friendship founded on business is better than a business founded on a friendship. Yeah, I'm not even gonna hold you, bro. Because if you try to make a bit, if you try to mix, I don't know, it's weird, bro, when it comes to friends and businesses, not every friend is gonna see your business, you know what I'm saying? But if you're if you're starting off with a business mindset and then over time you form a friendship over that, then that's pretty dope. That's that's what I got from that quote, at least. Let me see what this is. 
I'm finna end the video soon. This I feel like this is a live stream, but it's whatever, bro. I should have made it a live stream. To see what is right and not do and not do it is the worst cowardice. I remember that quote. In anger, we should refrain from both. Uh, let me oh let me start over. In anger, we should refrain from. Um, let me start over again. In anger, we should refrain. Refrain both from speech and action. So basically, what is that saying? Like, when you mad, don't say nothing, don't do nothing, because you might regret the shit, nigga. <laughs> you might regret the shit. Let me see. If a man knows not to which port he sails, no wind is favorable. Mmm. I like that. I like that. Basically, if you don't know where you're going in life, my nigga... If a motherfucker tell you some shit and try to sway you one way, it's not going to be in your favor because you don't even know what the fuck you want. You don't know what you want. You got to know what you want in life, bro. So again, dog, there's different little things. I might start doing this, man. Like at the end of my videos, I might just start like, you know, reading certain quotes and shit. Because this is literally what I do when I'm by myself. I'm chilling. If I ain't got shit else to do type shit, I'm looking up different quotes um, and I'm seeing how I can relate and how I could like implement it into my life. Like, you learn so much about yourself by, you know, doing research on just how the world works. And then you just become a master at everything you do. You're literally in control. People are going to try to control you because that, because again, weak people will try to like have the control or try to be like, because they don't, they're, they're very insecure about themselves. You know, they, they're going to try to seek control in somebody else and, Oh, I want I want this person to do this. I need you to do this. When a motherfucker's telling you, they don't even ask you. They be like, I need you to do this for me. Like, get this for me. You feel me? The nine times out of ten, they're trying to seek control over somebody else because they don't have control over themselves, bro. Emotionally. They're, they're ruled by their lower nature. You feel me? Um, but there's just a lot of different kinds of uh, quotes that you'll find on that, on that uh, YouTube channel. So that's just free game. You know, that was just free promo. <laughs> you feel me? Um, but yeah, man, this is just a couple of things that's been on my mind for the past couple of days. You know, just, you know, just certain, again, certain things that I'm doing now and just researching. And um, now that, like, you know, my birthday has passed and whatnot, um, you know, I'm, I'm just on another level of just trying to improve myself, get better and, you know. Uh, shit at the end of the day again it's either you're gonna get with it or you're gonna get lost there's a lot of things happening within the matrix yeah I see with the with with them with the government fucking around with ai and all this other shit bro it's like listen if you're still eating low vibrational foods if you're still you know um watching porn if you're still doing things things of that nature bro like um, my best advice, if you are open to advice is to number one, limit how much times you do certain things. And then number two, research what is happening to your brain when you do these things. Sometimes the moment you research something, if you're really connected and you actually give a fuck when you're researching something, your body will react to what you're researching. That's why I like to eat healthy or like, for example, I would get like a bowl of fruit and I eat the fruit and then I look up YouTube YouTube videos of health benefits of uh, pineapples, health benefits of blackberries while I'm eating the fruit. So when I'm hearing the information while I'm eating the fr fruit, I'm getting double the pleasure. I'm like, oh, shit, it's really going to do this. Like you have to sometimes put it like this, bro. Your cells, they don't understand human words. OK, they only understand vibration. A cell can tell like if you tell yourself like, man, I feel sick, bro. I, da, 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 da. They feel that vibration. They don't know what the word sick means, but they feel that vibration of the word sick because in your mind, you know what the word sick means. You feel me? But the cells within your body, they don't know what it, when you say certain shit, the cells only they only understand language based off of the vibration. So with that being said, this is why when you hear certain things, like if you're watching a video about 
a murder suspect. Or let's just say you're watching, you know, one of the shows that I just got put on was called 911. Um, old show. I, I think they got like a new version of the 911 or some shit like that. <laughs> but within the show, there's this episode I was watching where it was one of the firefighters. He basically got in a car accident and he was severely injured. When I seen that shit, bro, I felt the type of weight. I had to fast forward that part, bro. You feel me? My brain. Okay, there's this part. There's this thing. I remember briefly researching this, but there's a section in your brain when you visualize and you see something, you can't tell whether or not it's real or not. This is why movies and and, and videos have such a huge effect, psychological effect over human beings, because we can't tell the difference whether this shit is really happening or not. You feel me? So your cells are going to react to the vibration that you're seeing. My cells in my body literally was like, oh, shit. Like, I think it was something in Buddy's head. If y'all know the episode I'm talking about. It was something in his head, bro. And my brain was just on some fast forward. We not watching that because now our my, the cells in my head, I literally began to have a headache. Literally. This is why I say it's very important to, you know, be careful of what you watch. Because, again, you have the cells in your brain or the cells within your body. They're connected to your subconscious. So sometimes you really can't tell whether something is real or not. Um, obviously, you know, from that point of view. So I know if people are watching certain things that are gory and shit like that, this may not happen to everybody, but I know it happens to me. I'm going to feel some type of way. You feel me? I don't really like watching ER shows and none of that, seeing blood, all that. Mm, I ain't trying to see all that. You feel me? I can handle it, but my I'm such a, I'm a low-key empath that like I'm going to feel that shit. You feel me? That's why I can't even get mad at certain females who watch different shows. Most women are actually empathic. Most women because they're emotional beings. You know what I'm saying? So I bring that up to say, when you're searching for positive information, uh, information that you can say, okay, benefits of sea salt, benefits of whatever it is that you have in your house. See what you have in your house and see if it's a benefit or see if it's actually dangerous for you. Okay. The more you practice uh, just looking for more positive information and now you're doing the positive thing. Your brain, and not only your brain, but the cells within the, in your body, they will move in unison. Now that you're eating the right type of things, you're watching the right type of information, you're reading the right types of quotes to feed your subconscious mind, now you're more at peace. You're more in unison. You're more calm, cool, collected. You feel me? And this is a way, this is where you can take this energy and you can keep it with you. You can cultivate it to how you want it to be. Now you can feel better at any given point in time during the day. It doesn't matter, bro. There's going to be a point of time where you don't want to do that much research. You don't want to do nothing. You just feel some type of weight. It's going to happen. The point or the, the, the challenge is not to stay there. The challenge is you have to get up. You have to create a new high, a new level, bro. You have to raise that base. that Because, again, life is about highs and lows. You feel me? High dopamine, low dopamine. At the end of the day, if you can't increase your base, don't even worry about peaking and shit like that. You feel me? Because, again, if you try to peak too much, again, you won't hit that peak, especially if it's become like you're abusing this. You feel me? You won't, you won't be able to hit that peak, bro, because now you're just chasing a feeling. You're chasing. You're like, man. I did all this, man. I want, I'm i trying to get something else. Man, I'm trying to do this. Man, I can't do it. Now you're anxious. You feel me? And then that's how the cycle continues. But yeah, without saying too much, man, MGT with a douche, your boy Moody Star. And I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber. Like the video. And join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful. Fucked up. Sideways ass matrix. Now, first of all, I gotta say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within and being high vibrational. Here at MGT, this is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. So with that being said, I waited till like the very last minute of this video because I didn't even know it was, it was gonna be an hour, but I'm gonna make it an hour and some change maybe. But 
I definitely had to make that uh, the intro for the outro, just in case for MGT members. If you don't know anything about MGT, MGT stands for Making Great Talent or Mo- Moody Gang Team. It really started off as Moody Gang Team. Uh, I'm Moody or Moody Star, if you can't tell. Um, I do got some merch working for for real this time, like dead ass serious. You might start seeing me wear it in the next couple of weeks, so I'm very excited about that. If you found any value in this video, uh, definitely drop a bag on the Cash App to support the team. Uh, Moody Star 8 is my Cash App. Um, or if you want to drop a super chat, I appreciate that too. This is the first time I decided to drop an hour length video. I'm still still just barely scratching the surface as to just the different kinds of information I have been researching the past couple of days. Um, there's a lot more that I want to get into, you know. Um, but yeah, in due time, I will. I will be dropping some more videos. Now, I don't know if I will be dropping it as frequently, you know, dropping a video every single day. That's why what I'll try to do is, you know, just have one of these videos every week, at least a, a pretty lengthy video. I'm not going to give y'all, I'm not going to say, hey, yo, it's going to be at least 20 minutes or 30 minutes. You feel me? Sometimes I ain't got shit to say. But the past couple of days, I had I have a lot of shit to say, especially since I've been um, on my water fast. I've been on my speaking fast. You feel me? And, it's, and it's, it's, I'm learning and finding new levels of myself. And I'm very excited, bro. Like, I'm very excited to just experience and just continue this journey. Make sure y'all drink y'all water at the minimum. Make sure it's purified at the minimum. If you can get some alkaline water, I know y'all be in the comment section. I'm like, oh, drink this water. Drink just drink water, bro. You feel me? Um, If you can... Not drink water with uh, fluoride in it. That'll be cool. But yeah, other than that, it's been your boy Moody Star. Once again, I appreciate all the love and support. I'm going to definitely see you guys on the next video. If you need to rewind it, rewatch it again. I know I probably may come back to this video too, my damn self, because um, this is a very good moment in time for me. And, you know, Moody Star, if you happen to be seeing this in the future, you know, what up, blood? You feel me? I'm out here, you know, just still doing what I got to do. Where the hell is OJ? OJ, what the fuck? She's outside, just vibing. Um, I could have went outside, but I got to get this microphone thing together. That's another reason why I haven't been recording, too, because the microphone thing is really pissing me off. So I will be fixing that, like, ASAP. But, yeah, other than that, man, love you guys. And definitely see you guys on the next video. Peace. All right, that's it, man. That's a wrap. Yo, Brad. My nigga, bro. It's been a minute, dog. My dog said, okay, shit. My dog said he in the cartel now, man. You feel me? I mean, I mean, what a... Oh, shit. He telling me to cut the camera off, man. He's saying like... Mm -hmm." All right, y'all. Peace.